hi guys as you can see I'm not feeling very well I'm not doing very well um, I'm actually really kind of hurting right now I just took some ibuprofen I'm drinking water like I'm supposed to um, some of you may not know I was in the hospital last night um, I went to work I was supposed to work 5 30 to 11 and um, I wasn't feeling the greatest when I went in. I was having some stomach pain before I even went into work, which should have told me, you know, um, call off, don't go in. But um, in my mind, I was like, oh, I need the money. I can't afford to call off. And, um, I was working front line. I was cleaning some stuff off, taking orders, doing french fries. Um, and all kinds of other, like cleaning and working and stuff. And then I all of a sudden sudden started shaking. Like my my body was like shaking really bad. My hands were like cramping up. And so I walked over and a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine, was like, You she knows when I'm, my blood sugar is low because I, I am a borderline diabetic and sometimes my blood sugar gets too low and I start having like issues. So she made me a glass of orange juice with ice because I like my orange juice with ice. And then I started walking down the other side to the break room and I started feeling like even weirder. Like my whole body felt like it was shutting down. And another coworker was standing there and he, um, I'm not going to give out names because I don't know um, who all knows who and it's, this is, it's a personal thing anyways. So, um... He asked me if I was okay, and I said, no, I need to go sit down. And then the next thing I know, I woke up on the ground. Um, I guess I passed out or was unconscious for a small amount of time. They had called 911. I was in a tremendous amount of pain. I have not felt that kind of pain since I had children. That was worse than um, my, the gallbladder The gallbladder pain that I have. I'm still out of it today. I'm still very, very tired. So I'm sorry if I stutter or sound weird today. But um, they put me on a stretcher and they rushed me to the hospital. I had um, an IV put in here where they administered um, some medication for the pain and for the nausea because I was dry heaving the entire time I was on the floor. Um, I do remember that part. I don't remember it anyone else that was around me I don't know entirely who called 911 or who was doing what I do know that there was a lot of people concerned um, I had assumed that this information would already be out and about at my work because things don't stay secret for long there <laughs> as many workplaces are so this is just an update for everyone there everyone on my YouTube channel all of my family um, I'm I'm okay today. I am in a little bit of pain. I am waiting on a phone call back from my doctor. Um, the hospital said that I was dehydrated, um, which doesn't surprise me because I was not feeling well that day. I hadn't been drinking much as I should have, um, and I hadn't eaten all day. Like, I literally hadn't eaten anything from the time I woke up to the time I got out of the hospital. I didn't eat till 8 p.m., um... Uh, they did a CT. Everything looked fine on the inside as far as a CT. He did explain that if it is endometriosis, a CT would not catch that, that I had to have surgery. And I know that. And I'm working on getting that surgery done and taken care of. Um, clearly, I need to take care of myself a little more. Um, I'm one of those people that's like, eh, I'm not worried about it kind of thing. Um... I definitely should have read the signs last night. Um, like I said, I also was dehydrated, so they did administer fluids. They gave me some kind of pain meds in the hospital because um, shortly after I got to the hospital, the medication that they administered in the ambulance had worn off. Um, by this time, I had tried to call a couple of my family members. Um, one of them wasn't able to answer, and then the other one... Um, 
did answer and she came up there and she stayed with me for a while. She even went up to McDonald's and grabbed all my stuff and took it back to her house and nothing would happen to it. Like everything was left there. Like my jacket, my phone, my keys. Well, no, um, apparently somebody put the phone on the stretcher. Uh, I, I had no idea that I had the phone until I got to the hospital and even then I had stuck it in between my thighs because I was literally curled up in a ball. I was in so much pain and it's like right up underneath my rib it does not move um it's less painful when i'm in a ball but if i stretch out the pain goes to the like it goes all the way across put your dress down <laughs> you don't have shorts on you leave your dress down um the pain shoots across so they were thinking it was like my appendix or my kidney or my liver and they said all of that looks fine so they said to get a hold of my doctor which I got a hold of Dr. Yonkin because that's my doctor that I'm seeing for the endometriosis possibility so um, my rules for today was bed rest and drinking lots of water because when they did the CT they put a dye in, a, the, a blue dye I think that's what they called it and they said that I need to flush that out of my system. So, that being said, um, I do have a health update coming. Um, it's going to come after this. It's going to seem weird because this is kind of like an emergency um, <laughs> update. But um, that one's more of a like, oh, I've been having issues. Because that one, even at the end of it, you guys will see. Yes, baby. I took an ambulance. Um, even at the end of the other one, I tell you guys that I'm waiting on a phone call back from my doctor. Um, Dr. Yonkin took a urine sample and was supposed to call me back for, um, a date to do the surgery to find out if it is endometriosis. I don't have a calendar in front of me, but I do know it's been a week because it was last Friday and today is Friday. So it's been a week and I haven't gotten a phone call at all. Um, I literally just called him about 20 minutes ago, so we'll see how long it takes for him to call me back. But I just wanted to put this out there so that you guys can, um, see that I'm doing okay. Like I said, I said, I am in a little bit of pain today. I've been in bed most of the day. I'm only up now because I needed to feed Melody and she wanted some playtime, which I'm letting her just do my hair. So I'm playing, but I'm not exerting myself and then I also got to get Leo and then we still have to, her parties tomorrow so I still have to get ready for that so I'm kind of super stressed out right now but I will update you guys as I get updated um like I said I clearly was not trying to end up in the hospital last night I don't think anyone tries to end up in the hospital but I was literally just trying to go sit down and like I said, I don't remember what happened after I said I need to sit down. Um, so, I'm okay. I will update you guys on the other video once I get a phone call from Dr. Yonkin. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the messages and all the phone calls. And I'm just, my grandma's yelled at me twice now. I can't make phone calls inside my house. I have to go outside because I don't have any reception here. In a minute, okay? Um, I don't have any reception in the house, so she's yelled at me twice through the phone. Okay, I can receive voicemails, um, but I just can't make phone calls out. Um, and if I do receive a phone call when I'm in the house and I do answer it, um, I've had multiple people tell me that I'm cutting in and out. So, if you call me, I'm sorry that I don't answer. I am doing great. I'm not great. I'm not great. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm tolerating it. I'm bearing through it. Um, Mommy. The doctors did say if I have that issue again to just come back into the hospital and they'll take care of it. Uh, hopefully we don't have that issue again. But um, until next time, guys. Bye.